to introduce to you this year's Women of Distinction nominees, the first group of Distinction Award presentations, we would like to take a chance to offer you another special glimpse into just who these women are. Congratulations to all our nominees. I just want to take a chance to thank you all, all you nominees, for doing so much to make our community stronger and better. Thank you. You make Winnipeg a better. We introduce to you this year's Women of Distinction nominees. The first group of distinguished nominees is in the categories of Young Women of Distinction, Community Volunteerism, Recreation, Sport and Active Living, Arts, Culture and Heritage. Ladies and gentlemen, your nominees. Ladies and gentlemen, your first group of nominees for this year's Women of Distinction Awards. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gwyneth Jones, accomplished composer, arranger, and music educator, Ms. Finley. Her debut C CD garnered a nomination in the Outstanding Jazz Recording category at the 2003 Western Canada Music Awards. <laughs> Not least, Parvin Shear. Ms. Shear is an artist, musician, and poet whose work is profoundly influenced by her concerns for the disadvantaged and has donated the proceeds from the sale of her CDs to help raise funds for the children of Iraq. Arms are going to be tired tonight from all this clapping. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating that exceptional group of women. Five to 2003. 
Dr. Grant currently serves as Vice Provo Academic Affairs at the University of Manitoba. Regrettably, Dr. Grant is unable to join us this evening, so Catherine Sullivan is accepting her certificate. <laughs> Verna <laughs> Colette Seifer. The first female cardiologist in Manitoba, Dr. Seifer brings international experience to her work as an attending physician and a lecturer at the University of Manitoba, St. Boniface General Hospital, and Health Sciences Center. I think you would agree with me, an absolutely outstanding group of women. Women who have contributed to all the aspects of our community. Congratulations to all of you. You are our role models, you are our heroes, you're women who in our, our community has said that they want to acknowledge as outstanding. This annual present why to recognize and pay tribute to the individuals who've devoted their time and their energies into making Winnipeg and, and the world a better place to live. It's really thrilling as we hear the various things that, that, that women are involved in. It's really exciting. We know that women who work are not often acknowledged, and we're delighted to have this opportunity to celebrate their achievements and those of some of the talented and remarkable women in our community. We would also like to remember that not all women who work to make life in our community better are acknowledged. Last year,